about movement? Tell me Dancing. about movement. Oh, what a good question. I love to move. I started out as a dancer when I was younger. I was a dancer and a musician. Um, and I was never a dancer by society standards where it's like I trained in it to aspire to be a professional. But I started out doing Slavic folk dance and I was a figure skater for a while when I was younger and I took ballet and jazz as a component with that. And, uh, you know, I always liked dance and skating, but never saw myself as a dancer or a skater because I wasn't good enough at it, if that makes sense. Yes. But it's definitely been, you know, part of me. And um, when I was about 12 or 13, I remember just dancing around my house to music that I found inspirational and finding it to be very, very healing. So in my recovery, probably when I was about 10 years sober now, so I'd say about seven, eight years sober, I started getting into yoga. Because uh, it was like I have to do something more with my body and my breath together. And through my exposure to yoga world and going to some yoga retreat centers, I came in touch with what's called conscious dance. And there are a lot of conscious dance practices out there, meaning they're classes that people of any experience level can come to. They're usually done at places like yoga centers or retreat centers. And, uh, you know, some of it looks kind of foo foo and weird, like African tribal dancing. Not saying that's foo foo or weird but for some people it can be. Um, and a lot of it is just free expression type of dancing. So specifically when I would, um, my, my biggest exposure to conscious dance came through the Kripalu Center in Massachusetts. And I would go there and I took classes. I actually took some trainings and a couple other people's forms of conscious dance. But ultimately was inspired to really come up with my own. And that's the practice I do now called dancing mindfulness. And I love mindfulness. It's a huge buzzword. Uh, in trauma work and addiction work. It's this whole art of coming as you are, just trusting the process, uh, noticing without judgment. And so I've developed a dance class that can vary in length, anywhere from you know a half hour up to like a two hour full guided journey <laughs> of a dance class. And you know we stick with mindfulness principles. There are certain components that I really stress, like uh, your breath as an informant, the sound your heart makes as an informant of your experience. And it's really just a fun class. I mean, I can get into all the theory behind what's in my head as I constructed it, but I tell people if you want to just uh, come as you are dance class, where your ability level doesn't matter, your body type doesn't matter, and you just want to come and have fun, you know, come and check out a dancing mindfulness class.